Welcome to the Symmetrics Advanced Intelligent AI Tuning System Tutorial Series Video Part 1 of 2. The Symmetrics Advanced Intelligent Tuning System is an AI cord simulation platform that runs automatically. The platform searches for the minimum error based on the rewards punish game pattern by integrating practical human design experience and allows the user to complete the entire simulation with a click of a button. This video will show users how to use the AI tuning system to optimize their filter designs. The user firstly needs to go to the eLibrary and download the Symmetrics app file. This app file will allow the Symmetric platform to connect to HFSS automatically. Once installed, log into your Symmetrics account and go to the Intelligent Tuning page. The Advanced Intelligent Tuning System includes two major functions, Advanced Intelligent Tuning and Manual Tuning. Users can select either function on the top right corner. This tutorial video will only show the Advanced Intelligent Tuning System. The first step requires the user to synthesize the golden matrix based on the customer's specifications. In this demo use case, this six-order coaxial cavity working at 10 gigahertz with 500 megahertz bandwidth will be synthesized. All specifications, such as the return loss and isolation, are shown in the S-parameter graph. Once the golden matrix is generated, all the design data will be transferred from the synthesis page, including the golden matrix and the design specifications. The second step requires a connection between the Symmetrics app and HFSS. To accomplish this, go ahead and open the full 3D model in HFSS by clicking Load Project. Once the design is selected, all physical parameters will be imported into the Symmetrics platform automatically. Users only need to map each physical parameter to the corresponding coupling matrix coefficient. Here's a quick key tip. If you define the physical parameter names in FHSS as the listed labels in the interface, for example, M11, M22, M33, M12, M23, M34, and so on, the Symmetrics app will extract these dimension values automatically. The low bound value will be half of the current physical value, and the upper value will be one and a half times of that value. You can modify these bound values before or during the simulation. All modified values will be documented in the Note tab. The next step is to set up the HFSS analysis by clicking Simulation Setup. All commonly used analysis parameters will be shown and be automatically filled in the default values. Now click Done, and the Symmetrics app will call HFSS to run the initial iteration. As you can see in the HFSS interface, the new analysis, which was set up in the Symmetrics app before, was built, and the initial simulation will be run under this analysis setup. Once the simulation is complete, the corresponding S2P file will be imported into the system automatically. The user needs to extract the matrix to obtain the proper results. Sometimes you will need to tune the capture range in order to obtain the better capture performance. Note that inappropriate extracted results will result in inaccurate and or incorrect optimized results. Therefore, before proceeding with the AI optimization process, make sure the extracted results are accurate. There are four more parameters that need to be set up before the AI starts running. The trial modification, max changes, convergent criterion, and iteration pass. The trial modification means the modification value used in the initial training process. This value is critical to the final success. If it's too big or too small, it will result in inaccurate nonlinear fitting effects and extend the simulation iteration process. The best value would be the one which can make the error bar change inversely equally. 
The maximum changes is the maximum physical structure changes during the automatic run process. Convergent criterion is the threshold to stop the run process. The last parameter is the iteration pass, which is the maximum number of times to run the simulation. The maximum value under the AI tuning function is 5. For each iteration, it may include either the frequency, the coupling, or the transmission zeros optimization. The actual number of times the simulation is run depends on the complexity of the physical model. This is the initial response. Click Extract Matrix, where we can now obtain a perfect extraction curve. Make sure everything is good. Once all parameters are set, click Start, and the Symmetrics app will begin the automatic run process. This concludes part one of two of the Advanced Intelligent Tuning System. For a continuation of part two, after you've run the simulation, please click the link below. Thank you for listening.